Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer Fantasy uh, Warhammer Quest and I am working on making my way around the map. We cleared out the whole west side. We are doing some Skaven killing and for whatever reason I can't get to this town here. I got down to Dunkelberg and then it just didn't let me do anything so I don't know what to make with that. But we'll move over here and I'm going to try to get this shield here. Because that's a pretty major upgrade for my guys. My fear is that since I'm starting to get into a higher level area, they might crush me. Because around this area before. We were getting attacked by war bosses and all sorts of stuff. And that could definitely kill these guys. Cool, thanks, man.
Well, oh, maybe we should use some of these scrolls to level our guys up. So we can get some guaranteed damage. <laughs> to toughness yeah the other one's way better Attempt to shield the warrior's group. If successful, the warrior each gain plus 12 toughness, and their enemies are all slightly less to likely to hit. Every time the shadow warrior hits is hit in melee, there's a chance he will do an immediate counterattack. Oh, those guys might like be pretty awesome. I think I'm going to have to re-equip my A-team, though, because... I need to be at least level 7, it says. Nothing else. Maybe I can use it to... Uh... Get some money. I could still use you.
There, now I have some room. Bring out the A team. Hate to do that, but I think it's what's necessary. And besides, I need money anyway, so, and that's how I make money. Your party, which includes the Empire Wizard, quickly identify the mysterious man as the Amber Wizard, an Amber Wizard, the one who consorts with the Fawn of the World and who can wield the lore of beasts to great and devastating effects. The Wizards of the Amber, Amber College are nominally there to serve the Empire, but our infamous, infamously capricious and temperamental nature can never be tamed and neither can the amber wizard your warriors must tread carefully or an ally could turn into a deadly enemy you leave Sidersine stripes in and head west in the direction the ravens took him in flight your party soon find themselves in a dense forest a wild boar bursts from the trees but rather than attacking it immediately turns and looks back at the warriors as expecting them to follow the porcelain guide leads the warriors warrior band to a large cave an arrow ruin carved in the side showing that it is a lair of someone who calls himself the upon the magical wind of Gur. Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
As the warriors momentarily recover from the fight, the Emperor Wizard's wizard steps out from the shadows. His face is still obscured by the great fur hood. Well, it's time. It is well that you have come, says the ominous voice. Knowledge is worthy goal, but one must be, be earned. You have already made a start, but you cannot win through sword and blade and arrow alone. Prepare your minds, but be warned, I have no tolerance for ignorance in any form. The price is of falsehood is death. With that pronouncement, Kurt Short's hand looks uneasy at uh, this guy. First, let me test your knowledge. Which college of magic answers to the lore of life? I think it's the Jade, isn't it? So it is, speaks the Amber Wizard. He then shifts, changing into a mound of mice and sc that scrabble over each other and scuttle out of the chamber, heading deeper into the dungeon. Your warriors are free to continue. Once more, the Amber Wizard appears as if from nowhere without a preamble and asks a question. When I beckoned you to come to this dungeon, what form did I take? A uh, wild boar? You answer truly, says the mage, even as he forms into a slithering mass of serpents that quickly wend their way out of the chamber. Oh good, I thought he meant like when he blow in, I thought it was going to be like a crow. I'm glad they didn't put crows in there because I'd be like, well, he was a crow first. So does he mean it that way or does he actually mean... Like when we actually f first met. The priestess. Oh, what the heck? Firebomb him. Didn't mean to do that for a while. Gotta use him up. The Emperor Wizard stands upon a bestial 
skull pattern on the floor of the chamber. I have one last query. Answer true, and knowledge will be yours. A test of fear. To which ruinous power does the Lord of Change belong to? That is Zinch. Riddles in Amber. Impressive indeed. As you have shared your knowledge with me, I will share mine with you, says the Amber Wizard. I have two seams of wisdom that may, on the face of it, sound discordant, but like nature itself, you must remember that everything is connected. When you travel south to the neighboring regions and face the pox, remember that it hides in the sweat of others. The cure you shall seek needs to be included. Needs to include powdered ram horns. Secondly, you will soon encounter a great orc warlord with a fierce, tr with his fierce tribe. But the warlord will not be the real threat. He is a mere puppet in the hands of his shamanic advisor. This is your true enemy, and he consorts with the powers even more fell than the orc's own gods. I'm not going to remember what I need to do. So what was it? Ramhorn? I'm going to write that down just in case I actually need that in the future. Uh, the Amber Wizard then suddenly looks tired and he removes his hood to reveal an old man in gray, nest-like, matted beard. He glares at the warriors one last time. Now away with you, I'm tired. And there is still much to do. The Amber Wizard dissipates before your eyes of your party and then turning into a cloud of worms that fall onto the ground and immediately burrow into the earth. Well, damn, that was really easy. I'd like to go over here, but I wonder if it's going to kill me. If I try to go there with my low-level guys. Warriors see an upturned wooden cart in the distance. Kurt Schwartzhand senses this could be a trap. The warrior approaches the cart quietly and ca with caution. It is indeed s its content is spilled over out on the floor, mostly rotten and useless, and is a dead body of a merchant lies nearby. Let's investigate it.
Okay, so it's leveled appropriately. Ah, oh, man. I got you. Gotta get me those items so I can level up.
Yeah, it's not letting me go over here. Idol of Mork. The adventurers are taking a well-earned respite at the coaching inn when the door slams open and a man in a brim, wide-brimmed hat and dusty traveling cloak enters. His loud entrance gardeners him few annoying, annoyed glances from the customers. They only return to their previous conversations once the new uh, newcomer closes the door and stops the lantern light inharmoniously flickering. Barkeep and ale bugmen's if you've had it. He announces across the common room, causing further annoyance. Oblivious to the rancor and the stranger scans in the area, his gaze settling on the adventurers. There you are, he shouts and strolls over. The inn's customers instantly transfer their annoyance from him to your party. It isn't it is you, isn't it? You're the one who saved the donkey of Marburg who found the halfling's son in Vorchorf says the man, his tone becoming so whole the ground can hear ground the whole becoming uh, tone still so booming the whole floor can ground floor can be here the interrupts in a gale of laughter the mirth aimed directly at your party bless sigmar for he has sent our saviors the mules and halflings of our realm can sleep safer tonight announces one wag triggering another bout of rankous laughter this man is doing your warrior bands uh, Burgoning reputation of favors. A warning growl from the largest warrior in your party quickly quells the laughter. The stranger sits down at the party's table uninvited and seemingly ignorant of the commotion he has caused. I've been tracking you for weeks. News of your heroics is making its way across Stirland and beyond. He takes off his hat as the keep brusquely replaces a flagon of ale on the table. Professor Otto Schwartzblunt of the University of Noon, he says, holding out his hand and lowering it when nobody offers to shake. This doesn't faze him. He takes a good qu quaff of ale and continues. I've been monitoring the green, green, mi green skin migrations over a decade, and like inclement weather, I'm afraid we're due for an invasion. I've had ter I've heard terrible rumors. The old Black Fang orcs have moved from Mount Gunbad and are massing just beyond Winter Teeth Pass in Wizenland. They've got a new war boss, Gorgut. He slew the old one, got rid of any competition, and then led the orcs out of Gunbad. For the first time, the professor seems aware that his voice is carrying beyond the intended audience and lowers it. The thing is, while the orcs gather and the border princes, Gorgunt isn't with them. He's already here on the side of the Black Mountain. My contacts tell me of a demented orc shaman who has led Gorgut to this very province. They are searching for something, an idol of their dreadful orc gods, a relic of the past invasion. Once it's in Gorgut's hands, the spirit of Mork will pervade, issuing ensuing in a war to rival Azhag the Slaughter? Slaughterer? Oh my gosh. One of the other patron raises from his seats and turns in the midst of pointing an accusing finger at the professor. A quick chop to the throat from the closest warrior downs the man. He lays in a crumpled heap by your party stable, discouraging any others from that overheard short Shore ward spluts, ramblings from doing anything other than sup sipping their beer. I think I know where the idol is, says the professor, producing a tattered map from his cloak. I've plotted past orc invasions through the region, and there is a vortex pattern to their movement that centers around this point here, he jabs at the map, making a marking a desolate area in Stirland. I need you to take me to this place, he notes your warrior's doubtful lo looks. If it's money's an issue, I have the ability to draw on university funds from any gilded, from any guild recognizer, mo guild recognized money lender. The promise, 
promise of funding from a large and prestigious institution as the University of Nome has an immediate effect on your party. Gone is the cynicism quickly replaced with the adventurous spirit. The, power, the party leaves the inn, ignoring the sneers and smirks of the other clientele. level seven. Oh no, I should have leveled you up first. So that's 2,000. Eight max wounds, two toughness. Yeah, let's sell that. Try to get some spot, some space left. That's the bright wizard, right? Well, I guess the question is do I come down? And explore this stuff or do I go up and take a look at this place I feel like I should go up here and come back to down here that'll allow me to continue to level and make some money Party makes camp and bed down. Now oh, that's the strange visions.
tough. Oh no, I did not I didn't know that was an area of effect thing. He always goes first. I should have guessed that he would do that.
naturally. Well, let's leave it alone. Vampire Thrall. Hey, awesome. That's exactly who I wanted to get it. Oh, that is some bullshit right there.
Wow, that's really good. Oh, we wanted to go there anyways, so... Let's come up here. Start. Well, how do I get up there? It's way better.
recommended level six. Well, I think I'm done for the day, so I'll think about how to do this next time, but thanks for watching. I'll continue to upload these videos. If you're enjoying these videos, please give my channel a like and subscribe to encourage me to post more content for you. Have a great day.